All right, Shalom, Mom, Yahshua, peace, Israel. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and has taught us this truth. And salutation to the hopeful elect out there laboring the truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth, under the standard and the banner of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who people ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. All right, Bahashim is in the name. Waka Kodash is the Holy Spirit. All right, and, and that was said in the uh, Lashawan Kodash, which is the Holy Tongue, which is the Paleo Hebrew. All right, and this is the brother Karab here from the GMS Boston camp. You know, just got a lesson I want to go into based on the experience that I went through or something that uh, uh, the Lord had, had presented to me. All right, um, when I was at work last week, it was last week Friday. I believe, yeah, it was last week, Friday, so I've been pondering on it, you know, and, and you know, just putting everything together, meditating on it, and, you know, just figure out, you know, why not just do a show on it, you know, because what, what what was presented to me might help brothers, it might help the Akim or Akwatim that are tuning in, brothers and sisters that are listening, all right? So, all right, as you see on the screen, uh, it says, be swift to hear and slow to speak, all right? And I can apply this to... The, the, the message that was delivered to me, you know, wise words from Jake, when a uh, guy that I was working with. I usually don't work with him. He was actually a temp, but it's just, you know, something I needed to hear through him. And um, what the, the, the message was, you know, how it all started was, you know, we had a conversation about, um, he said he don't celebrate Christmas. You know, so I think I, I asked him why why he don't celebrate Christmas, you know, and, um, you know, basically he was just telling me how he came around, like, yeah, how he started doing research on it. And then, um, at the same time, like I was adding my input, uh, simultaneously the same time while he was talking and he said this, he was like, yo, 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 you know, he was like, yo, um, I'm trying to tell you something, you speaking over me. All right, and it's like he said, "I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to tell you something. You speaking over me." So at the same time, in my mind, at that very moment, I'm like, "What can you possibly tell me? You know, what I'm saying that I don't know uh, by way of the truth, by way of uh, of the things that I've learned of the truth. You know, through the scriptures, through the men's on the highways and the byways, through the brothers that are around me. You know, and what he said, you know, it was needed. What he said was needed, and this is what he said." All right, he said, if there's five guys in a room, all right, and and they're speaking on a topic or a situation, or they just uh anything, right? If there's five guys in a room, he said you should be you should want to be the last person to give your input on something. All right, and and no lie, like ever after he told me that, it's been stuck on my mind ever since. Ever since last week, Friday, it's been stuck in my mind, all right? And and I can relate it to the scriptures, all right? And I can relate it to the scriptures in, in, in different accounts. And there's an account in the scriptures that mention that as well, what, what, what that happens, which I'm going to get into, all right? But, like, by him saying that, that was that was wise. And I felt like that was the Lord, you know, uh, uh, using him to present something to me that I needed to hear, all right? So... Going back to, to the precept, because this is, um, you see on the screen, it says, be swift to hear and slow to speak. It comes from uh, the book of James 1 and 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. All right? All right, so he said, be swift to hear. You know, you have two ears and one mouth. You should listen two times more than you speak, as the saying goes. All right, so be quick to hear because by you hearing, you're taking in, you're receiving, and when you're speaking, you're giving, uh, you're, you're, you're uh, giving out. All right, so you got to in, you need more of intake than uh, 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 output. You know, uh, of what you're putting out. All right, you need an intake because that's how you are built up by um by receiving the information. All right, and. And, 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 like, once again, like I said, once I heard that, I was so quick to, like, yo, you know, like, what can you possibly tell me? 
which was me kind of thinking emotionally, you know what I'm saying? Which is me being, uh, thinking a little emotionally because of what you said. I felt like I could have took it as disrespect, which at the same time I kind of did, you know, like, okay then. But still at the same time, you know, I just had to, I had to, I had to humble down and, and, and it was a humbling experience too. It was a humbling experience to sit back and, and that's why it's been on my mind too. Cause it put me in a place where it's like, you know what? The Lord is, the Lord is raising up judges. All right, the Lord is raising up judges, and to be a judge, you have to know both sides of the spectrum. To judge a matter or a situation, you have to know both sides of the story. All right, so with that, you have to be willing to hear. All right, you can't hear if you if 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 you think you know it all, as the scriptures say. You know, um, knowledge puffeth up. So, you know, by you knowing some stuff doesn't mean you're always gonna be right, and just because. You know something uh, it can also lead to pride where, you know, it can bite you in the ass. You know what I'm saying? At the end. So that's why you got to be humble and, 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 and be more ready to hear than to speak. All right. So I got a, another precept. Grab my list real quick. Proverbs 1 and 5. All right. And the book of Proverbs, is a, it, 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 it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful book. All right, and it says, so I can. All right, Proverbs 1 and 5. It says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. All right, and it said, A wise man will hear. It didn't say a wise man is going to speak. All right, so you have to listen. A wise man is going to listen, and he said, He will increase learning because one thing about uh, uh, learning. Is it's it's infinite, all right? It's um at the. It's it's you can always learn something. There's always something you can learn in life, all right. You could be living for a hundred years and still learn something new. Just like we read the scriptures and we can read the same verse, uh, the chapter and verse that we always do, but we can receive a different uh uh uh, uh message, not a different message, but uh, uh you understand a different look at it from a different point of view to get a, a better understanding of it, all right. Just like listening to songs, like some, or watching movies. You might watch a movie 10 times, but you miss something in that movie. So you watch it again to receive you, that 10th time that you see it. You see something new that you haven't seen the, uh, the the nine times you've seen it before. So it's saying a wise man will hit and will increase learning. So a wise man will increase learning because of, uh, uh, of the knowledge that he's receiving. Going back into you would want to uh, receive more or uh, intake more information than you, than you out, uh, uh, give out because... You know, any man is this. Uh, was, I was watching this um, this anime, and he said, "Any man that think he's uh perfect, uh, uh, he already lost. He already lost the battle, or you know, because you stop growing. All right. And the thing about this truth is, you gotta constantly grow. All right. As times move forward, you gotta grow according with the time. All right. So once again, I'm gonna read it. This is Proverbs one and five. It says, "A wise man will will hear." And will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. All right, and and the way you're going to increase learning is by being around wise men. All right, hence uh brothers and uh, brothers in the truth, you know, brothers that are uh, put a uh, set up around you. But also, there's like I said, the Lord is going to use certain people that's going to uh, uh tell you something that you needed to hear. All right, and 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 that's and that's how you're going to uh you know increase and build yourself up. You know, um. My next precept is um, Proverbs 9 and 9. Bear with me. Proverbs 9 and 9. All right. And it says, give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. All right. And is that not what we're trying to achieve? Are we not trying to be wiser than what we are right now at this at this very uh, moment? All right. It says, teach a just man and he will increase learning and learning. Just like the last precept said, Proverbs 1 and 5. All right. He said, uh, give instruction to a wise man and he will, will be yet wiser. All right. And, 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 and that's how he says, with, with all that getting, he said, wisdom is the principal thing. All right. So get, uh, let me grab that real quick.
All right, and it says this, Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. All right? So, you know, it says wisdom is a principal thing, therefore get wisdom. All right? Because in the scripture also tell, tell you that wisdom is uh, far more uh, above rubies and gold, roughly paraphrasing. All right? So this is the thing that you that you need. So wisdom, and, and when you have wisdom and you continue to, to learn and increase uh, and, and, and obtain uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Guess what? It makes you wiser. That way, you can deal better in situations, and you can judge uh, uh, matters uh, uh, rightly. You know, you judge it rightly because that's like once again, the Lord is raising up uh, judges as well. All right, so we have to know how to judge uh, matters, small and great, as the scripture said, which I'm gonna grab. Paraphrasing, let's see. Uh, all right, be with me. I, I, you know, I'm going to find it real quick. Right, this is um. First Corinthians six and two. Do ye not, do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? All right, and the saints is going back to the Israelites. All right, it says, um, do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matter? All right, so are, are, are we uh if the if the saints is going to judge the world because it's going to get to a point in time where Right now we're Esau's kingdom, but we're increasing in learning. We're increasing in wisdom. You know, the Lord is putting that upon his men. All right. He's putting that on, on, on his elect. All right. So they're increasing. So guess what? When they're in that, as the, as the, um, as the scripture says, Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous and authority, the people rejoice. All right. So when, the, when, when Esau's kingdom is pulled down and, 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 and Jacob's kingdom is set up, you know, the kingdom of Yasharala. All right. Guess what? You know the elect is gonna judge right, uh, righteously. All right, and and, and, and you're gonna judge the whole world and every and every matter. All right. So he said, "Are you unworthy to judge judge the smallest matters?" All right. So we're not. We 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 these these small matters is what's leading up to us judging the world. Lord's where we part of that number. We're part of the elect. All right. So going back. So going back to lock here. But also, um, you can't you can't you can't learn if you're speaking. Alright? You can't learn if you're speaking, which hence why it is this this precept uh comes in handy as well. Alright, it says Salaki, where's it at? Uh be a good one. All right, uh, Proverbs seventeen and twenty eight. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. All right, so it's just showing you like you can't learn nothing if you're speaking. All right, you can't learn nothing if you're speaking. But also, when it goes to that saying, if there's five men in the room, five men in the room, you should want to be the last one. To give your input on something because you hear and you uh, you listen to all the 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 the, the cause that was put out, all right. Which makes you even if you had the same uh, answer as uh, the, the 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 four the, the the four dudes that was before you. Guess what? You can give a better uh, explanation, a better reasoning, a better example, a, a better explanation of what what it is that the topic is about, all right. And what I want to get into was. Uh, account in the scriptures when that applied that happened and that's how I know uh, that 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 message you know had to be from the Lord because you know it, it was something that I needed to hear all right 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going um, I'm to read First Ezra. I'm going to go from the third chapter and I'm going to go into the fourth chapter. So this be uh, quite a, uh, you know, a read, but just bear with me. All right. And it says, uh, First Ezra 3 and 1. Now when Darius reigned, he made a feast unto all his subjects and unto all his households and unto, unto all the prince of Media and Persia and to all the governors and captains and lieutenants that were under him from India to unto Ethiopia and of 120 and seven provinces. And when they had eaten and drunken, being satisfied with, satisfied were gone home, then Darius went into his bedchamber, bedchamber and slept and soon after awakened. Then three young men that were of the guards that kept the king's body spake one to another. It says, let every one of us speak a sentence that he shall overcome and whose sentence shall seem wiser than the other. Unto him shall the king Darius give great gifts and great things in token of victory. As, as to be clothed in purple, to drink in gold, and to sleep on, upon gold, and a chariot of bridle of gold, and head head tie tie so like a head tire of fine linen and a chain about his neck all right so this is a this is a, a, a like a bet according to you know who, who you know saying of us of a of a sentence you know and seeing who ha, uh who's whose explanation or who's uh how gonna say it? who's um who was right you know saying who who's whose uh explanation or a or, or, or part of uh, what they spoke on um, was more wiser than the other. All right, and it says, uh, "Bear with me." Uh, verse seven. It says, "And he shall sit next to Darius because of his wisdom, and he shall be called Darius's, be called Darius's cousin." And when everyone wrote his sentence, sealed it, and laid it under the king's uh, Darius his pillow, and he and said that when the king when the king is risen, some will give him the writings and when whose side the king of three Persian so like it, three prince of Persia shall judge that his sentence is the wisest so to, to him shall the victory be given as was appointed the first wrote wine is strongest the second wrote uh, the king is strongest the third wrote women are strongest all right women are strongest but above all things, truth bear away the victory. All right. So that was three men that mentions their peace. All right. And one said, wine is strongest. All right. Wine is the strongest. The second said, the king is strongest. And the third said, women are, are, are strongest. But above all, truth bear uh, away the victory. All right. And it says, and it says, and when the king was risen up, they took the they took their right and delivered unto delivered them unto him. And so he read them and send them forth. He called the prince, princes of me, uh, Persia and Media and the governors and the captains and lieutenants and the chief officers and sat him in the royal seat of judgment. And the writings were read before them. And he said, call the young men and they shall declare their own sentences. So they were called and came in. And he said unto them, declare unto us your mind concerning the writings. Then began the first who spoken of the strength of wine. And when he, and he said thus, O ye of men, O, o ye men, how exceeding strong is wine. It, it causeth all men to err that drink it, and maketh the mind of the king and of the fatherless child to be all one, of the bondman and of the freeman, uh, of the poor man and of the rich. It turneth, away, it turneth also every thought into jealousy and mirth. And it said, so that, so that a man remembers neither sorrow nor debt, and it maketh every heart rich, so that a man so that a man remembereth neither king nor governor, and it speaketh to all things by talent. And when they when they are in their cups, they forgot their love both to friend and brethren, and a little after drawn out swords. But when they are from the wine, they remember not what they have done. O ye of men, is not wine st the strongest that enforceth to do to to do uh, to do thus, and when he had spoken, he held his peace. All right. So the first the first man uh said his portion. He said his part, and it says, um, the second, then the second that had spoken of the strength of the king began to say, O ye of men, do not men excel in their strength, excel in strength that bear rule over the sea. 
and over sea and land and all and all things in them. But yet the king is more mighty, for he is Lord of all these things, and hath dominion over them. And whatsoever he commanded them, they do. If he bid them to make war, they want the one against the other, they do it. If he send them out against the enemies, they go and break down mountains, walls, and towers. They slay, they slay and are slain. And transgress not the king's commandment. If they get the victory, they bring all the king, bring, they bring all to the king, as well the spoils, as all all things, as all things else. Likewise, for those that are no soldiers, and have not to do with war, use husbandry. When they have reap against that which they have sown, they bring it to the king and compel one another to pay tribute unto the king. And yet he is but one man. If he command to kill, they kill. If he command to spare, they spare. All right. If he command to smite, they smite. If he command to make desolate, they make desolate. If he command to build, they build. All right. If he command to cut down, they cut down. If he command to plant, they plant. So all his people and his armies obeyed him. Furthermore, he lies down. He eat it and drink it and take it his rest. And these and these kept. Keep watch round about him, neither may anyone depart and do all and do all his do his own business, neither disobey they him in anything. O ye of men, how should how should not the king be mightiest? When in such sort he is obeyed, and he held his tongue. Alright, so to show you the second man spoke his piece as well. Alright? Which means the third person was the last one, but he heard all uh, both both matters, alright? So he said, um, all right, verse 13, it says, Then the third, who had spoken of woman and of truth, this was Zerubbabel, all right, began to speak. O ye, o ye men, is it not great? Is it not the great? It is not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine that excelleth, who is then that ruleth them, or had the lordship over them? Are they not women? Women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by sea and, and land. All right. And it said, even of them came they, and they nourished them up that planted the vineyard once, from whence the wine cometh. So you see that the, uh, the Zerubbabel, which was the third man that spoke his piece, you know, he even uh, uh, relayed back to what the two men uh, mentioned, talking about how, you know, the men that was in the vineyard, they planted, but they pay up to the king. And even the man, uh, uh, the, um, Salaki, the man, oh, Salaki, he said, um, the, the vineyard that uh, the wine come from, he said, the, uh, in the vineyard that they planted and they give to the king, but also the the, the, the grapes that come from the vineyard, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 that's where the wine come from. All right. So he said, isn't the woman that uh, bring forth these men to do that? And also it says, women have, I'm going to start back at verse 15. It says, uh, women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by sea and land, which was with the second, um, the second man has spoken, all right? So showing you that he listened to both matters and he gave his input relaying back to what they said, all right? But he still he still got more to speak on, all right? And this is, um, start back at uh, verse 15. Women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by sea and land. Even of them came they, and they would nourish, nur and they nourished them up that planted the vineyard from whence the wine cometh. These also make garments for men, and they bring glory unto men, and without woman cannot be men be. Yet, he said, um, yet if if men have gathered together gold and silver and any other goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? And let all and letting all those things go, do they not gape and, and, and even with an open mouth fix their eyes fast on her, and have not all men more desire unto her? Than unto silver and gold and, and any goodly thing whatsoever. A man leaveth his father, his own father that brought him up in his own country and cleave unto his wife. He sticketh not to spend his life with his wife. And it says, And remember neither father nor mother nor country. By this also, by this also, ye must know that women have dominion over you. And do you do you not labor and toil and give and bring all to the women? 
Yea, a man taketh the sword and goeth, uh, and goeth his way to rob and steal, and to sail upon the sea and upon rivers, and looked upon a lion, and goeth in the darkness. And when he had stolen, spoiled, and robbed, and he bringeth it to his love, wherefore a man, wherefore a man loveth his wife better than uh, father or mother. There are many there be that have run out their wits, run out of their wits for women, and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished. Have erred and have sinned for women. And now, do you not believe me? Is not the king great in, in, in his power? All right. Uh, and this is also going back to what the second uh, the second guy had mentioned about uh, the king being uh, 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 stronger. All right. So it says, verse twenty eight. Now do you, now do you not believe believe me? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all regions fear to touch him? Yet. Did I see him and up, 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 upon me the king's concubine, the daughter of, of the admirable Bardicus, sitting at the right hand of the king, and taketh his taketh the crown from the king's head and sit it upon her own head. She also struck the king with with her left hand. And yet, for the, all this, the king gaped and gazed unto her with with mouth or with open mouth. If she laughed upon it. If she laughed upon it, he laughed also. But if she took any displeasure at him, the king was slacking. So the king was fain to flatter that she might be reconciled unto him. Again, O ye of men, how can it be but woman should be strong? See if they do thus. Then the king and the prince looked upon one another. So he began to speak of the truth. All right. And it says, now he's, now he's going to mention uh, uh, the truth. All right, but he said the kings and the princes start to look at one another. All right, because he made a valid point. All right, and it says, um, thirty verse thirty four. O ye, o ye men, are not women strong? Great in the are are not women strong? Great in the earth, high is the heaven. Great is the earth, high is the heaven. Swift is the sun in his course, for he compasses the heaven round about, and fetches his course again to his own place in one day. Is he not great that maketh these things? Therefore, great is the truth, and stronger than all all things. And it says, all the earth uh, cried upon the truth, and the heavens, and the heaven blessed it. All the works shake, all all works shake and tremble at it, and with it is no unrighteous thing. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women are wicked. All the children children of men are wicked, and such are all their wicked works and there is no truth in them and their unrighteousness also they shall perish as for as for the truth it endureth and it is always and is always strong it liveth and conquereth forever forevermore all right it says um verse 39 it says with her with her there is no accepting the person or no or reward but she doeth the thing that are just and refraineth from all unjust and wicked things and all men do well like of her works, all right. Neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness, and she and she is she is the strength, kingdom, power, majesty in all ages. Best be the power of truth, all right. And with that he held his peace, and all the people shouted, and said, "Great is truth, mighty above all things," all right. So, you know, um, yeah, just showing you that you know, with with, with you holding your peace. And you listening to all, all, all um, everyone's uh, uh, input or every everyone's uh, piece to the to the to the uh, the story or the topic or the situation, you know, you can you have a better chance of hearing what what, what what's going on and, and and give a better explanation, or to even prove your point, you know, which which as you can see in this in this um these two chapters, you know, Zerubbabel, uh, he declared that that the the truth. Is 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 stronger than all all those things that they was mentioned before, all right. And guess what? They said then the people verse one um verse forty one said, and with that he held his peace, and all the people then shouted and said, "Greatest truth, mighty above all things." All right. So just you know that's 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 what I get from that message that was um presented to me, all right. And and I related to the scriptures, 
because this is something that me myself also have to work on but also um there's brothers out there that can also work on it too so you know with that i just want to uh say that lord's will let this lesson be edifying i want to give all praises on the glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim Kadash. double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who will well once again and um salutation to the hopeful elect out there laboring truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth understanding in the banner of yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim Kadash. With that, we'll say Shalom and a Baba Ball.